Okay, in this uh, in this video, after watching this, you should have some um, better understanding of all the things that are going on at the at the ribosome uh, in terms of manufacturing proteins. And uh, we're beginning here uh, with the scene set uh, as if we have already um, completed several rounds of peptide bond formation. Uh, so the polypeptide is uh, attached here to the P site tRNA, and uh, we brought in a, uh, a, a new amino acyl tRNA uh, that's occupying the A site. And the amino acyl tRNA, uh, different from the polypeptide, has the amino group, the free amine of the amino acid. Here's the amino acid with its um, a carboxylate group uh, S linked by an ester bond to the tRNA's three prime end. Uh, the tRNA is making uh, base pairs uh, with its uh, ant anticodon and, and the codon on the A site. These three nucleotides are the A site codon. And uh, it's poised to uh, undergo nucleophilic attack at this carbonyl center, the, the, the bond at, at the ester linkage uh, connecting the polypeptide to the, the P site tRNA. Now, when that reaction happens, what uh, the, the peptide is going to move and make a bond, a new bond, a new peptide bond uh, and with, with that amine group. So here is the newly formed bond, and then this bond, the ester linkage, uh, is broken. So the tRNA uh, with its uh, three prime OH group is the leaving group. The carbonyl carbon of that ester, or what used to be the ester bond, is the electrophilic center, and the amine of the amino acyl tRNA is the is the is the nucleophile, and it is what is called a peptidyl transfer reaction. We're moving the peptide from this tRNA onto the amino group of the amino acyl tRNA, and notice that the ester linkage of the amino acyl tRNA remains intact, and that's. Uh, because now uh, it, it's prepared for the next round of peptide bond synthesis. So what will happen is, uh, at this point, is that the, the ribosome will ratchet forward uh, so that uh, so the, these, these sites, the A site, P site, they are a property of, the, of the, the ribosome itself. The ribosome is moving forward exactly three nucleotides and and now uh, we refer to this uh, this third site as the E site for exit site, and it's just occupied by uh, a, a, a tRNA that uh, was the leaving group in the in, in that peptidyl transfer reaction. And now we bring in a new um, a new tRNA attached to potentially a different amino acid, and uh, it makes a, a match between anticodon and, and codon. Uh, we have now a nucleophile, this amino group of this second uh, amino acyl tRNA. The previous amino acyl tRNA is now chemically linked to the whole polypeptide, so it is now the, the, whole, the polypeptide. And we undergo another nucleophilic attack from this amine to this carbonyl center, moving the whole, um, the whole uh, polypeptide as a unit onto uh, the next amino acid. So we've made the chain longer by two units through these two peptidyl transfer, peptidyl transfer reactions.